going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. So glad you joined us. You know, our topic today is on slander and you'll want to stay tuned because there's going to be some phenomenal things I just know by the Holy Ghost said in this program that's going to help you. Remember to call the prayer lines as we go through the show. 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. We're seeing all kinds of uh, answers on that uh, prayer line. And listen, yeah, don't go through things alone. You know, you don't have to give us your name or anything, and, and you can be anonymous, and uh, we ain't going to solicit you because we don't have your name <laughs> to solicit you, huh? So anyways, if you were just clicking through the channel, we're God's View TV talk show um, going around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ, seeing lives changed in miraculous ways, and we're thankful to be a part of it. We're very humbled and honored. You know, God could have used anybody. My husband and I, as we prayed for the uh, programs this morning, we thought, wow, what an opportunity. Most people wait for an opportunity like that, and he's given us the whole world, just like he says, the whole world's in his hands. Well, you know, he trusted us, and, and believe me, we don't take that lightly. And so we're very grateful. And so get your favorite drink and join us around the table. We've got a great topic slander. I know it doesn't sound great, but it's going to be great. <laughs> and remember, God does have a view, and God does have a view personally for you. I'm Charlene back to marrying your God's View host, Stephanie Bash. We have Heather. Yay, Heather. <laughs> Book. And I had to think a minute. Yeah. I had to think so a she minute. She got it. And um, Lana Gardner. Lana Gardner. <laughs> Let's put that over there. We're just helping her out a little bit there. Sometimes, Michael, you know, we're real here. We don't do teleprompters. We, you know, there's things that, you know, happen. Papers go flying. Mics are half crooked. And we just got to fix it. That's all. And we're real. And hopefully right. you're real. And, you know, because a lot of people, I hear them judging. Well, you know, that's kind of a slanderous thing, too, when you're sitting around. We'll have to go into that. And, you know, you talk about people that are on the news like my husband and i were doing that one night a long time ago and they go god they were and i says listen we repent lord because we know how hard it is you know you say things you mix up you do things and it's live and you're like oh you know yeah. and so anyways you know we're just real so give us grace we give you grace and we all get through this together let me read you a scripture okay brothers and sisters do not slander one another mm. wow that was just like a drop the mic, mm. boom. Do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against a brother or sister or judges them speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you are not keeping it, but sitting in judgment. So whether it's the law, love, whatever, you're, you're, sitting, you're sitting in judgment. You know, slander is a very, very serious thing. And um, I shouldn't look down on my phone, but I'm still doing things. I'm very sorry. I apologize. But you know, my husband and I was in a restaurant the other day, and this is how things get started, gossip, mm -hmm. and then before you know it, it turns into something else. And I know, that, I mean, this could be slanderous. I mean, because if you went away and we knew those people, well, you could be slandering them if you repeated something that they said. Well, they were having this great conversation, and I was hearing the great, I was hearing the whole conversation, but he was only hearing partial of it. And I always say secondhand information is rarely mm -hmm. correct, but you, know, you want to make sure you hear the own conversation. So they're, they're like <laughs> saying all this stuff. It was so funny. And my husband heard the part of, well, did you sleep with him? <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Did you sleep with him? And, 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 and then he heard the part of this licking her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> licking her mouth and all this my husband's going but well, I heard what it was it was a chihuahua they were talking about <laughs> oh. they, were ta <laughs> they were talking about their dog oh my gosh oh. so you see what it, you see how that could have went right. in yes. to gossip slander yes. saying this person right. oh, we wow. heard them we heard them and sure. man they were talking she was in bed he was licking her he was, you know what I mean yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. it, it was could have been disastrous it really mm. could Okay, let me tell you this before everybody gets going. And here. then if you knew them, don't know yes, else. Yes, that's, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly my point. What was going on? What was going yeah. on? What yeah, if we really would have known them? And my yeah. husband didn't get the rest of the story. He just heard that he was so funny. He's going. <laughs> 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 and he would think and that. He, and he, 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 he 
think that? She's going, <laughs> like, what the heck are they yeah. talking about in a restaurant and yeah. so loudly? Well, because they were innocent. Right. They were talking about a darn chihuahua. Yeah. Their little baby. And then they said, <laughs> something, about, then they said something about the blankets or something. Oh. Boom it over their head or something. He's going, <laughs> what's going on over there? That's Why would they be talking about that's such a that's serious, serious, you know, serious conversation? Slander is, is the eighth commandment. Commandment. <laughs> they, I mean, hello. You know, God says, "Don't bear <laughs> false witness mm, against, against your neighbor." Your neighbor. Yeah. And then, in First uh, Peter three thirteen, it says, "When you slander, not mm. if you slander." When? Mm. So I mean, I think it's talking to all of us. Yeah, that's good. You know, I think mm -hmm. we're all a little bit guilty of that. And and you know. Many times a person will slander someone because they're exalting themselves. Mm -hmm. Because really, yeah. they'll, they'll tell you they what that person has done that's so terrible. And what they're also hoping that you'll believe is, I would never do that. Right? right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, slander in my life, um, and now th this isn't for everybody, but um, I will... I, and, I mean, this is honest to God. God is my witness. Um, every time there has been, I mean, devastating slander against my name, against our ministry, against my husband, against mm -hmm. our marriage, flat out lies. Um, I can guarantee you, we have seen a pattern every time that's happened in our ministries, God has given us millions more. God has, but we had to handle it correctly. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. we couldn't retaliate, mm -hmm. we could not engage, we could not go defend ourselves, which believe me, I wanted to. I was a Detroit girl, I'd punch <laughs> you in a minute. I'm gonna punch your lights out, but I'd give you, you know. But, but God, when we come into the kingdom, everything's handled with love and forgiveness, and, and you gotta bless those who persecute you. And when you go into a store and somebody's going over there, yeah, that's the person they're talking about. And you yeah. know they believed the lie. Mm, right. You know that it just, snowballed and and whether you've been called whatever you know but God always launched us to the next level and I just had somebody very close to me that went through the same thing it was a horrible slandering thing and oh my goodness but I said God is going to use this for his glory and you know they may never they may never believe write mm -hmm. about you uh, may never come out as right. the not the false thing mm -hmm. because the devil is always here to um you know portray you as something that you're not and then god's always trying to protect you but people have a choice to believe and mm -hmm. to agree like what what lana just read you know when we slander you have a choice right. when somebody mm -hmm. comes to you and says something about a minister <clears throat> whether it sounds believable or not we really got to be mature this hour and really not just take that to heart and believe it but i can guarantee you this and i mean if i could tell you some of the stories and to us it's hideous but to them it's believable to them it was believable and and it tried to destroy us tried to destroy mm -hmm. and my name means a lot not that that you know because reputation a good name the lord yeah, says right, is greater than right. money or anything and our name meant a lot yeah. and it wasn't because of pride or i said oh my god did it hurt and yeah did a little bit of pride said god i don't want people believing that right you know I but understand. they did mm -hmm. yep. and i mean i had friends leadership lots of people through the through the thing believe stuff and you know of course it didn't turn around till seven years later, but turned around. Well, too late then, mm. you know, although you still love them, you still bless them. Right. But I'm just saying, if you're being slandered right now, first of all, handle it right. Yes. You know, just say, God, I love them. I bless mm. them. I yep. know maybe right now I don't know how to do that, but I choose to do that because I know that's what you want. Mm -hmm. And I choose for this flesh to die and not be hurt. And I, I really choose for this thing to turn around. What? Because a lot of times, listen, I'm sure there's people still believe crazy stuff about us and our ministry. But you know what? 
I have to say, shake the dust off my feet. I have to go on and do what God has called me right. each day. I can't worry about what so and so said or how because God allowed it to happen because he allowed that to happen to push me to this next level to give me more character to make me bolder right. and to make me more love right. and to forgive greater and right. bigger you know it did something in my life and I always say this don't let all of the things that happen to you go without no purpose mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it would. Yeah, yep. no. I I feel the same when you know that is that has happened to me before as well. And um, it is how you respond. It's how it you respond. It is what you do with it and how you love. But also, going into my heart and saying, even even with something like that that can be so devastating, yeah. is there truth to any part of this? Right. What, yeah. can, I what can I change about I myself? Yeah. How do I do this, Lord? Yeah. And then with the hurt part. Get my heart right. Forgive. Yeah. Turn it around. So so then mm -hmm. I have both sides coming together to heal me completely. So as I go about, I can, I can well, that, what does it say in the Bible? Where if you if something like that is happen, happening and you love someone and you speak well of them and you forgive, that it's like heaping hot coals yeah. upon their head. Yeah. And, yeah. and in a way, love never right. And so... Mm -hmm. um, taking care of my own heart and walking that out, then the benefits of that are mm -hmm. God's mm -hmm. and it brings glory to him. And mm -hmm. in 1 Peter 3, 16, it says, keeping a clear conscience mm -hmm. so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. Yeah. And so that is something that it's mm -hmm. like, okay, I need to keep a clear conscience. What yeah. does that look like, Lord? Yeah. And how do I do this? And then when others speak of me maliciously, mm -hmm. The good behavior will mm -hmm. rise above, like yeah. like the word says, above reproach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and people will call you the gossip. They'll call you the slayer. They'll be mm -hmm. a lot of times it's because they don't understand your gift. I know when I was young in the Lord and I first came to the Lord. You know, being called as a prophet, you're bold and you say things yep. that others wouldn't yep. say. And to them, they're thinking, mm -hmm. oh, you shouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because they got the sloppy agape love. And no, you say <laughs> things right. and you put it out right. there. And so people don't understand. So they, mm -hmm. they look at it as gossip or they look at it as that's not right or that slander. But right. you know, I mean, even Nathan went and right to David's face. You know, I had posted something and it goes with this. Through it all in my life, through all the slander and through all the things, I've learned to love me. I've learned to love my flaws. You know, God will teach you through the slander to even love yourself. You know, because you've got to be bold enough to say, I'm not that. You know, no matter what, because the devil's right there to mock and make you try to even believe yourself that you're this terrible person. And if you've done everything like Stephanie said, you check your heart. You know, that's the first thing we do. Mm -hmm. Did I do that? I mean, mm -hmm. I'm that person. Please mm -hmm. change me. I don't want mm -hmm. the world to view me this way. But I put through it all, I have learned to love what others called flaws. Throughout my life, many times it was said behind my back, which I heard, that I had the gift of gab and that I talked too much. So many people that said that never knew. I knew they said it, but what they saw as a flaw was my call from God. Did it hurt? Of course, but I would rise. I would decree I have a gift of preach, not the gift of gab. Apostolic prophetic people are always seen, speaking, and decreeing. They have a big voice, not a big mouth. I even was accused of gossip, but because I was bold to speak what people would not, but I never let it stop me. Holy Spirit always showed me and led me into all truth about what heaven called me and says about me. Yea, God, and here I stand today, reaching the world through the global TV talk show called God's View, seeing millions reached with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Love your flaw, it's part of your call. You know, so what people, what people call you and they look at a flaw and they slander that and they say, you're this or you're that, or, you know, they don't even realize this is being said, you know, the walls have everything that we say, you know, I mean, everything's recorded. Yeah. Everything is. And so those words are out there and they can affect a heart with the devil can use it as a vain imagination mm -hmm. or just stick it right on their heart mm -hmm. because somebody spoke it. Mm -hmm. And it's a serious thing. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I say when you're in your alone time, man, just talk nice about somebody. You know, Romans 121, it says that uh, we are to overcome evil that's with good. good. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's vitally important that when someone says something against you, even though it's awkward 
or scary, a little yeah. scary. Yeah. We have to confront that person. And not in, you know, in love, mm -hmm. in yeah. love, to not straighten love. them out, to, to straighten yourself out, too. It's like you said, you examine yeah. yourself. Right. Maybe there's some shows. truth yeah. to what they yeah. said. Yeah. There is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe there is. But I think in each case, Lana, I would say we have to seek the Lord if we should confront Definitely. them. Mm -hmm. I would think in yeah. every situation we should seek him first because maybe they should not be confronted and God wants to deal with them. You know, you can believe if there is someone who is a slanderer, they're talking, and you're, they're your so-called friend. They're talking against you, too. And, and the thing is, in Proverbs 2019, it really tells us that uh, we should not associate with, with a simple babbler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. that it says, do not speak to a fool. Yeah. In Proverbs 22, 9, despise the good sense because they despise mm. the good sense of your words and you know what's sad about that though people have connected with what you just said it says do not associate with a slander but then if somebody already lied and all these people believed it and they think you're a slander right. and they're not associating with you i mean that's why you always got to seek the lord right you always do yeah. because it could be the you biggest did. lie like mm -hmm. what she did they may not even be a slander they may be the most sweetest person on the side of heaven and you just believed and not associating with them because somebody said over here that they were and that's why we got to be so careful mm -hmm. it's just time that we really check everything that's all yes. you know because i've it fallen prey to it are you kidding me i've believed all kinds of stuff about other people mm -hmm. and we all fall prey to that but it's time that we really take everything into consideration when somebody comes to you and says wow so and so and i'm like oh i never heard you know I, I mean, I, I really, you know, we should ask the Lord about this because most of it is really just, number one, somebody that's mature in the Lord ain't going to come to you and say that. Mm. You know, it gives me, um, I think, a peace and a comfort when I am being slandered yeah. is, is, is when I pray that God is my defender. He tells yes. us in his word, he says, yes. let me be your vindicator. Yes. So yes. anytime I've been slandered, God sees all, he knows. And I'm like, Lord, you know the situation, you know my heart. And the people that are closest to you, if they truly they know. know you, they're going to yeah. know that's not your right. character, Very right? Good. Yes. Very so, good. Yes. Mm -hmm. but I, I've had to pray those prayers. I'm like, God, you see, you know, be yeah. my vindicator. Yeah. Yeah. You know, be, be my defender yes. in this. And mm -hmm. because darkness does come to light. And so mm -hmm. I think it's okay to pray that. Lord, yes. defend me. You know the yes. truth. Vindicate me. And, mm -hmm. I, and I think Paul, um, I think even David cried out to the yes. Lord for that. Several okay. several people in the Bible prayed. And sometimes that's yeah. all I've been able to say, you know. Lord, vindicate me. Be my defender. Mm -hmm. um, keep my mouth shut so I don't, like you were saying, say something out of yeah. Yeah. causing like, me to we sin. Want, we want to right. rise yeah. up and You do. You want to defend yourself. Right. Right. See, that's not true because yeah. it really does hurt us because we yeah. know. Mm -hmm. We didn't mean it viciously. Right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes things are said, like I said, that is so perverted, so twisted, and yeah. that wasn't even your heart. Yes. And, for, it, yeah. Yeah. and in a couple situations for me, it took years before I was vindicated, but God, mm -hmm. he me came too. through. Right. And yes. I mean, it took a probably, me you know, and I had to wait to see that, but I, but I said, Lord, it's in your hands. I'm going to trust yeah. you with it. Yes. And he came through. That's the answer. You know, and then yeah. people saw and knew the Good. truth right, right. Now at the end. But, Amen. but I had to wait. It's, it was yeah. something yeah. that happened. See, that was way. me years. Yeah. And I'm still mm -hmm. getting vindicated from some yeah. stuff. But you know what? If I ever, I made it a point if I ever did, doesn't matter if I just hear from you, well done, good and faithful servant, right. entering God. I don't care what they think. I care what God thinks. A servant thinks. audience right. of one. There you right. go. Serve an yes. audience of one. Yes. 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 That's at the end of the day, he's who we stand yeah. for. At the yeah. end of the day, that's right, Heather. Amen. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, yeah. it's him. I don't care right. what Sally says or yeah. Joe right. says. You know, right. really. You don't answer to them. <laughs> yeah, I don't answer to them. I answer to you know? God. Mm -hmm. And I always look at the ones that are saying those things, and yeah. I look at where they are in their lives. Yeah. Mm. I look at where they are and they're usually miserable they're yeah. not doing anything for ministry but yet they're coming against the person who is mm -hmm. you know but, and I mean I don't say that proudly but you have to look at fruit mm -hmm. you know I have to look at fruit when people come against me I have to say well what am I doing and who am I and, and God are you using or what are you doing and there's fruit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's fruit mm -hmm. I mean, we have a lot of fruit with God's view. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful. I'm not bragging or boasting in the wrong way. I'm saying, thank you, Lord, for using Amen. us humbly. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there is fruit. And so, you know, you got to talk to the hand in those places. I mean, which is. <laughs> and it's a heart and character issue. And they will yes. be found out because they yeah. do it 
to like yes. not just not just you. Yes, <laughs> they right. do it to multiple people, right. and eventually, yeah, like eventually, they found yeah. out. Yeah. They're found yeah. out. You know. Yeah. So you just True. continue yeah. walking the line for the Lord, serving audience Doesn't of one, living in love. Doesn't green that green? Yeah. green is really <laughs> cute. Yeah, yellow and green look good on you too. White <laughs> does too, but anyways, <laughs> just a little side yeah. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we can't help Forgive it. us. <laughs> <laughs> we can't help it. You know, I just saw a talk about slander. I just saw the greatest movie I recommended, really? Infidel. Dinesh oh, they Susa. say it's so good. Oh, I just, yeah, I just, I posted yeah. it on my Facebook. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's the talking guy about slander. Jesus in Passion Jim. Um, uh, yeah, Jim. Yeah, 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 so Cavaz yeah. Cavazel or something. Yeah. yeah. He is it's Academy amazing. Award material. Oh, they say and through that whole movie, you sit at the edge of your seat. You just can't believe and it. And it's in the theaters now? Yeah. You know, he's been blacklisted on so many shows oh, yeah. because he's a Christian. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, but God he takes care of him. Used him in this movie. Didn't Look at The Passion was an, uh, uh, one, yeah. like, an all-time and brought in these yes. millions of dollars and stuff. So, you know, I mean, and he's going to be okay. But I wanted to see that. Yeah, but I don't know that it'll come to Cheyenne. But uh, mm. I'll, I'll, Oh, it'll I'll, come. Oh, they, and, and if not, you could buy the movie. Anyway. Yeah, that's yeah, what you I'm going to do. Buy yeah, it. because, you know, he, our shows are still... You oh know, really? They're only online. Showing, yeah. They're letting they're, you rent online. Yeah, they're only showing like five dollar movies, and you have to do this big distance, and it's mm -hmm. all like uh, Smokey oh. the Bear or something. You know, it's like really old. <laughs> yeah, like like you know, like all these Disney guys. <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah, all these like real old, like you know, I don't know for kids, you know. <laughs> and so five bucks, and you can buy popcorn, and you got to sit ten feet away. But no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and so I'll rent, a, I'll rent one and make my own popcorn in my house and just have a good old time. You but go. you know, it will come out. But the best thing is, is when you go see it and support the movie. Yes. So go support Infidel. Or buy it. Just or buy it. Buy it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything. Yeah. Just yes. support it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to, mm -hmm. I'm going to rent it, buy it, whatever I can do. But it just came out. So I don't know if it's rentable yet, but anyways, we're talking about slander. <laughs> no, 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 because the movie that, right? was about yeah, well, slander. It, it was about the fact that this Christian man who was always witnessing for Christ happened to be in Iran. And so because he was witnessing, I mean the usual, oh, okay, because yeah. he was witnessing the uh, Muslim government came okay. against him yeah. and they abused him in every way you can imagine. Yeah, okay. I, I heard it was about persecution mm. for oh, Christian goodness. persecution. Mm -hmm. That's what it's that's what it's mainly about. So anyways, but well anyways, slander got in there somehow. Yeah. Um yeah. but you know, God always takes anything always goes, to get a plug for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, yeah. But you know what? God always, you know, he just the Holy Ghost just goes where he wants to go, and we let him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but no you, problem. But, but you, yeah, go you, see the movie. You said that it's so true. God is our defender. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we could, you know, the first thing, and you said that we want to attack back. Mm -hmm. We want to. If someone says something, you mm -hmm. you you want so much to say. Well, do you know what they did? Do you know who they yeah, are? Where they they're are. coming from? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's usually spiritual yeah i mean we see even That's in right, government yeah. today where the so uh, where true. certain politicians are just being yeah. so falsely <laughs> accused fake news it's always mm -hmm. seen yeah. and yeah. basically what we're not seeing behind it the story. is satanic right. it's a it's the That's demonic right. who Freak. shed mm -hmm. lies distruths <laughs> slander everything they can against the innocent but you know what you keep seeing the innocent being defended by God. Mm, yes. Isn't it true? He it's does so care people rising up. He yep. does. He, he yeah. does. And like you said, when you gave it to God mm -hmm. and waited, yep. that's a, yes. gotta that's let it walk away and give it that's walk right. away. That's hard. Yes. It's so hard. It is hard. <laughs> yeah. It is hard. Oh, and and you, know time, yeah, you learn. Yeah. You just learn you to say, I really bless you and not you know, those yeah. who persecute you, because at first I'd say, oh, bless him, bless him, but I didn't mean it. Right. <laughs> because you're still no. hurt. No, I've yeah. even said to the Lord, change my heart. Yes. Yeah. So when I say this, it's true. It's true. I yes. feel That's my I heart. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, also using the word of God to help you heal makes a big difference. So I will, I have taken Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed, formed against, against me. and I'll put our names in it can prosper. Any tongue that yeah. rises against yeah. us 
in judgment I condemn. Yes. Yeah. You know, and so using scripture, mm -hmm. it's alive and active. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it, it takes I'm down the strong I'm a firm believer. I'm firm believer. So doing something like that People in that kind of situation. People confess, confess, name it, blame it. No, it's, it, it's really decreeing the word. Yeah, the word is, is the only thing that mm -hmm. will fight for you. Right. And what Stephanie is saying is true because there's always a devil out there condemning you. Yeah. Condemning you. And it even tries to make you believe what they said against yeah. you. And there's always this thing that we have to check our hearts from the authentic to the false. Mm -hmm. Are we are we being authentic? Yeah. Are we are we going forth being real in this situation? Or are we just pretending? Because we we have always got to check our heart. It all all points back to us like we did a show on every issue flows out of your heart. Yeah. Every right. issue of life. Right. You can point back to your heart. You know, and, and sometimes you're innocent in it. Like mm -hmm. we're talking about mm -hmm. slander. You yeah. were totally innocent and you were just lied about, but God is our judge mm -hmm. and God yeah. turns it around. And yeah. like Heather said, in one case it was seven years for her, in one case it was 20 for us. And it's probably still, there's probably still people out there that believe stuff about us. But you know, I really don't care. I care yeah. what God thinks. That's it right. It took a long time to get there. I'm not saying yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. Because it does. It takes a long time to, your your heart gets wounded. You, mm -hmm. it's, it's hard, but you want everybody to love you. But the Bible says, be aware when all yeah. men speak <laughs> well of you. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. be aware yeah. when everybody that's right. speaks well yeah, of that's you. So true. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You, you yeah. know, it's funny. But if you look at your homeowner's insurance policy, there's usually a clause in most policies that it, that if you're accused of slander and taken to the courts, they'll pay for it. Wow. Well, yeah. with that said, I'll tell you what. Jesus loves yeah. you. And he doesn't want you slandered and he doesn't slander you. But he will use it to launch you into your next season. It's happened to me over mm -hmm. and over again. And I always, somebody just told me the other day, why, when, when this happened to this other person that I love so dearly, why do you always use these tornadoes and stuff? And why yeah. can't you just say, hey, I want you out of there? You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, but Amen. I don't know why, but he uses those things uh -huh. because yeah. he knows the outcome and yes. what we're going to do. And maybe we got to deal with yeah. something in our lives. Who knows what? But then he launches you to That's the next right. level. So just be encouraged today. He loves you through it. He loves you. And he thinks you're wonderful. He's not slandering you. And if you don't know him, all you got to do is say, Jesus, call on his name. Your life's sham is just in pieces. And you know what? You can't pick up those pieces, but Jesus can. Mm -hmm. And he's waiting. That's and right. I Amen. know many people have said to me, oh, you don't know what I've done. I I don't care what you've done. He doesn't care what you've done. He wants you just the way you are. And if you said that prayer and asked him into your life today and forgive you of your sins to be the Lord and Savior of your life, call 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. Tell us so we can pray with you. And then get baptized. Just say, all you got to do is say, baptize me in the fire of the Holy yes, Ghost. Lord, I'll yes. tell you what, it, it'll be, you'll Ooh. never be the same. <laughs> And there's so many people that don't understand the word, but if you get baptized in the Holy Ghost, you understand it, jump off the page. We love you. God does have a view. He does have a view personally for you. Please go to our website. Order this today. It's $20 or more love gifting, love gift, and we'll get it right to you. Anointing oil. You know, who doesn't need it? Precious pearl in there to show you how precious you are, valuable. Rose of Sharon Camp. Smells delicious, and it's anointed. You need it. You need it for today. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we love you. We got to go. God does have a view. Remember that. Share. Tell people about us. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View.